Why would North Korea want a war sooner than we think? A perplexing question, isn't it? But it's crucial to understand the nuances of global politics and the potential reasons for conflict to make sense of it all. This isn't just about military might or political posturing. It's about strategy, survival, and sometimes sheer desperation. As we delve into this topic, we'll uncover a timeline of North Korea's actions and statements that suggest they want a war. The answer may be more complex than you'd imagine. To understand the current situation, we need to take a look back at North Korea's history. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or North Korea as we commonly know it, was officially established on September 9, 1948, under the leadership of Kim Il-sung. This was in the aftermath of World War II when the Korean Peninsula was split into two zones, with the Soviet Union influencing the North and the United States, the South. The ideological differences between the two zones soon escalated into the Korean War in 1950, a brutal conflict that lasted three years and resulted in millions of casualties. Despite the armistice signed in 1953, the war technically never ended, leaving the two Koreas in a constant state of tension. Post-war North Korea, under Kim Il-sung's regime, and later his son Kim Jong-il's and grandson Kim Jong-un's, adopted a policy of self-reliance or juch. This policy, coupled with the country's nuclear ambitions, led to its increasing isolation from the global community. Sanctions imposed by the United Nations and other countries have further deepened this isolation, pushing North Korea towards a path of military assertiveness and nuclear brinkmanship. The past is a key to understanding the present, and in North Korea's case it may even predict the future. Now, let's turn our attention to the timeline of North Korea's actions suggesting a desire for conflict. In the early 2000s, North Korea began a series of nuclear tests, shocking the global community. The first test occurred in 2006, followed by more tests in 2009 and 2013. Each test was more powerful than the last, signaling a rapid advancement in their nuclear capabilities. Around the same time, they also started testing ballistic missiles, the first few tests were marked by failure, but they persevered. By 2017, they had successfully launched an intercontinental ballistic missile, capable of reaching the United States. This was a clear indication of their intent to become a global nuclear power. But the actions weren't limited to nuclear tests and missile launches. North Korea's aggressive rhetoric also indicated a desire for conflict. They openly threatened the United States and its allies with nuclear destruction. They declared that the United States was within their strike range and that they would reduce the U.S. mainland into ashes and darkness. In 2018, there was a brief period of peace as North Korea entered into negotiations with the United States and South Korea. But these talks broke down in 2019, and North Korea resumed its aggressive stance. They announced another series of missile tests and threatened to take new paths if the United States did not lift sanctions. The most recent evidence came in 2023, when North Korea conducted its largest nuclear test yet. This was followed by a series of missile tests, demonstrating their ability to strike anywhere in the world. They also issued a statement, declaring that they were ready for a do-or-die battle with the United States. These actions speak volumes about North Korea's intentions. It's not just actions that matter, but words too. North Korea's statements tell a chilling tale. North Korea, a nation known for its cryptic communication, has been particularly vocal about its military ambitions. Their official statements and speeches are riddled with indications of their intent for war, wrapped in a language of defiance and determination. Let's take a look at some of these. In one of their public addresses, they claimed, our nuclear weapons are a sword of justice. This metaphor paints a disturbing image of North Korea viewing nuclear warfare as a righteous act. Another statement announced, we will not hesitate to use our nuclear weapons if our sovereignty is infringed upon. This assertive language underscores their readiness for conflict, their willingness to use destructive force to maintain their perceived sovereignty. Then there's the statement that perhaps rings the loudest, we are ready for both dialogue and confrontation. Here, North Korea makes it clear that while they are open to discussions, they are equally prepared to engage in conflict. This sends a strong message to the world that they are not averse to the idea of war. These statements, among others, reveal a narrative of defiance, of a nation ready to defend its perceived rights and sovereignty, even if it means resorting to war. The chilling rhetoric serves as a stark reminder of the potential threat North Korea poses to global peace and stability. The words are clear, North Korea is not shying away from the possibility of war. 
Having examined the evidence, we can see a pattern emerging. In the historical context, North Korea has displayed a tendency for provocative actions and statements. This pattern extends from the post-Korean War era right up to the present day. We've traced a timeline of actions that show North Korea's increasingly aggressive stance on the global stage. With each passing decade, their acts of defiance have escalated, culminating in nuclear tests and missile launches that have shaken the international community. In examining their statements of intent, we've seen a common thread of hostility and defiance. North Korea's leadership has repeatedly expressed a desire for conflict, painting it as a necessary step towards their goals. These patterns, when viewed together, suggest a troubling possibility. Is North Korea gearing up for war? And if so, why might they desire such a conflict sooner rather than later? The implications of this potential desire for war are profound. It could destabilize the region, disrupt global alliances, and potentially lead to a catastrophic loss of life. It's a scenario that demands our attention and vigilance. As we continue to watch global affairs unfold, we must keep in mind the potential ramifications of North Korea's actions and statements. Our understanding of their motives and intentions could be crucial in averting a disaster. As we navigate these complex waters, let's remember that knowledge and perspective are our best tools for understanding and hopefully for peace.